Today, we're gonna be trying a YouTuber products to see if they are actually worth buying or if they're just scams. We'll be rating them out of five stars, from one being the lowest and five being the highest. So let's start this off with a package from Mr. Beast. So some random delivery guy just came and delivered this Mr. Beast package. And there's like a little note here. It says, uh, open immediately. You guys wanna help out? Yeah, let's do yeah. it. So I think we just use this crowbar, this okay. Mr. Beast branded crowbar to open it. Oh. Wait, I'm like actually scared. Just go for it. I'm Wait, scared too. Let's try to out. Oh, there's a red button. Press when lit. Huh? Wait, why does it keep on saying no yeah. service call for assistance? Yeah, what? No service? So it's just a button with like an antenna here? I am freaking out. Oh, we have to peel that. Brent, it says something. Ah! No. Wait, service. Remember, like, that's what it said. Oh, call yeah. for no service. Oh. Wait. Ah! Brent, your 30 minutes starts now. 30, 30 minutes. minutes for what? Mr. Beach just <laughs> said, Brent, your 30 <laughs> minutes start now. What do you mean? This what do I mean? Yeah. What? Look, it's counting down too. What happens when this time runs out? That's my question. I think we have to call. So, okay, let's call. 28 minutes left. Please pick up, because who knows what. Hi, um, our button says that it has no service. Uh, I don't know how we're supposed to get service on it. Oh, yeah, of course. Can you just tell me your name just so that I can see which unit you're looking at? It's Brent Rivera. Brent Rivera. Gotcha. Can you actually just tell me exactly what time it says right now? It says 27 minutes and 54 seconds. Okay. Um, so something will happen in 30 minutes. Um, and y'all just have to hang out and wait for things to appear. Oh. oh. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Thank you. Okay, bye. A few moments later. The timer's at 12 minutes, so there's, they're doing something here. Where this goes, I'm shocked. Like, I want to know so bad what's going to happen. All right, so basically there's 50 seconds left on the timer. They have this entire red carpet with red rope to a, uh, a butler guy with um, a platter of something, but it's covered. So who knows what's inside the platter? Five, Five four, three, two, one. Let's hear it. Time is up. Open your door. Today is a very special occasion. Oh. To introduce you to a new formula of chocolate. Oh. By Festival from Mr. Beast. Oh my gosh. Wow. Have a taste. Thank There's you so new much. Different tantalizing flavors. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Wow. Milk crunch that's a and milk butter? chocolate. I'll, I'll try that one. one. Should we try it? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Three, two, one. Cheers. Wait. Wow. Oh God. It has peanut butter in the middle. Mm. But, oh, that one does? Yeah. Oh, no that way. is so good. That is so good. It's like crunchy in the middle. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Compliment of Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast literally went all out just to deliver his product, but it's really good. It's insane. This is the best chocolate in the world. Yeah, you haven't shared at all. You guys aren't getting any either. Dude, that's your fifth bar. Uh huh. All right, let's move on. Now we're going to be trying Mina Snacks. Which YouTuber started this brand? It's actually a Twitch streamer, Pokimane. Pokimane. Yeah. Let's open it up. I like the packaging though. It's nice and Oh, wait, 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 Brent, don't eat them. Why? It has almond flour in it. It has almonds in it? Yes. Oh, then I can't eat them. I will still open them and I'll look at them. Okay, from the smell, they actually smell really good. What do you guys think? Uh, I'm not gonna lie, it kind of smells like dog food. I think it smells good. It smells like a dog <laughs> treat. It honestly looks like this is from Mars. I think you should just try it now. Three, two, one. What about Hmm. Really? Extremely dry. Really? I actually kind of like it. This. It kind of just tastes like a brownie. A brownie that doesn't have much flavor. All right, out of five stars, I would give this a zero because there's nuts in it. <laughs> and out of five stars, I would give this a two. I'd probably say three. They were okay. There yeah. you have it. Let's move on to the next snack. Next up. Whoa, oh why are you throwing it? These were made by Ryan Trahan. He made sour strip candy, but the healthy version. You have the, what is this, pink lemonade? I have the green apple. I have strawberry. Sour strips are my favorite, so mm. I will know if this is good or not. Here we go. Me too. Really sour. Mine actually really tastes like pink lemonade. It's a little waxy. If that's what you have to basically substitute for healthy, then I get it. I would say it does lack on like taste. Based on all these flavors, I would rate this three and a half stars. I'm gonna give this a 3.8. Out of five. All right, next product. So if you mix table tennis and volleyball into one sport, Danny Duncan made the Smash Net. Ooh. It actually looks like a lot of fun. We're gonna set this up and we're gonna play. We're Let's going go. down, Brent. No, you're going down. You're going down. All right, are you ready? Yep. Are you ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go. All right, go. Oh, Smash I think you did it wrong. Oh, I did it. Hey, who's gonna win? Oh. 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 One point for me. Oh, one point. Right, here we go. Ashton just missed oh, it. Oh! You have to serve it from the yellow to the yellow, I think. Oh, is that what it is? 
Oops. Great demonstration. 2-1. Come on, Ashton. Come on, Brent. Ah. Brent! 2-2. Two, two. All right, let's go. Here we go. Ah. You're hitting it off pretty good. Ashton misses. Another point for Brent. 3-2. First to five wins. Oh, I like that strategy. Ah. Is that count? No, good outside question. Room. Wait. Hey, you guys both need to be quiet. I was outside room. In. <laughs> Let's go. 3-3. Three, three. Tie it up. Tie game. All right, here we go. Oh! 4-3. Yeah. Three. Match three. point. Who's going to get it? Ah! Oh! So we are all tied up here. It is 4-4. Four four. Comment yeah. down below who you think is going to win. All right, here we go. Are you ready? Let's go. Wow. I think I don't know who's going to win. Congratulations, sir. Thank you very much. One out of five stars. What do you rate it? This game is actually pretty fun. I would rate this five stars. Five stars? What do you rate it? I rate it five stars. And I rated zero stars, so I didn't get to play. Brent, are you ready to try another product you're not allowed to have? I'm just gonna leave. I don't even need to be in this video, honestly. <laughs> because right here we have mythical mishmash peanut butter honey cereal. This is stupid. Why am I even here? This sounds amazing. And it I sounds love... like death. <laughs> it sounds like if I ate it, I would die if I didn't go to the hospital. <laughs> Let's try it. Okay, the smell smells like cardboard. Oh! Oh, it's a game on the inside. Oh, that's pretty cool. You know what? We don't have time for this stupid game. Right, I want to get the play. game out of here. Hey. Enjoy. What? 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 I think you're happy you don't have any. Really? Yeah, they don't smell it the best. Smells like dog food. Now with it, it doesn't look too pleasing. Let's try it. Though. You ready? Three, two, one. I actually really like it. I don't like it at all. I don't like it either. I'm going to give it a four out of five. This is really good. I would give it a one out of five. What? A I'll one out of five? I'll give it a zero out of five because I can't eat this. I would not eat this. This is a four out of five. I'm going in. Let's move on to the next product. Next up, we have a snack that I can't eat. We have Be Happy Snacks. This is probably the most anticipated one yet. These are made by Charlie and Dixie D'Amelio. They made these different flavored popcorn snacks. We have cotton candy, nice spice, Parmesan garlic and maple, maple bacon. bacon. I'm excited to try it. Oh, these are bro, these are disgusting. Oh my god, bro. This is way too much bacon and honestly tastes a little bit fishy. So huh? I'm gonna pass on this one. I think the cotton candy one's pretty good. Here we go. This is what made Ashton throw up. Oh yeah. Mm -mm. Wait, what does it taste like? I personally love the cotton candy can one. Tr can I try that? No. All right, I'm gonna try the garlic parmesan because these two won't do it. No, I can't. All right, here we go. Ooh. These three need to get banned in the U.S. Out of five stars, I would give the cotton candy one a three out of five. A three out of five That's, No, four out of five. This one's pretty good. The other ones, not so much. If this video gets 40,000 likes, then we're going to try these YouTuber products with the YouTubers that made them. The first YouTuber product we're starting off with is... Prime. Prime. I actually have never seen these two bottles before. These are like different flavors. Is that a different flavor too? Baseball flavor? Okay, so mine is <laughs> Dodgers themed. So I don't what? know what the flavor is though. Is it going to taste like a baseball? Mine is a Glow berry. Sounds interesting. Mm -hmm. I have a pretty normal one. It's cherry freeze. Whoa, they're all clear. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Whoa. Is it really sweet? Oh my god, oh, it's, it's like so really sugar. sweet. It's so much sugar. It, it is a lot of sugar. Wow. No, they are lying. It says one gram of sugar. I can't even like describe the taste though. I don't think I would be able to drink a full bottle of these. No. Because no. it feels like there's so much sugar. No. Really tasty for like a sip. A lot of sugar. Mm -hmm. To me, it, it kind of tastes like medicine a little. One through five stars, I'm gonna give it a four. So yeah, I'll give it a four. All right. This next product is from a YouTuber named Jessica, and I believe the brand is called Afmau. Oh. Mystery Plush uh -huh. comes in a package. Oh! Oh, she's so pretty! Wow! Cute. I like their little squish face. This looks like a Pokemon. I don't really know like what, what you do with these besides maybe collect them. It's cute. I'm giving it a four. I'll give it a 4.2. All right. 3.8. <laughs> so underwhelming. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next product. Next product. <laughs> This next product comes from not a YouTuber, but a famous chef, Gordon Ramsay. Mm -hmm. So we each have meals here. Pearson, mm -hmm. what do you have? I have lasagna with bolognese meat sauce. Mm. I have fish and chips. Mm. We've got classic shepherd's pie. So this is the lasagna. Wow. It smells really good, I will say. <laughs> Mine doesn't look too hot. Let's do a big reveal here. Can't say I want to eat it? It's giving like airplane meals, uh -huh. airplane food kind well, of. Well, I bet you this is like stuff like on a budget. This is definitely some some stuff that you can just pop in the microwave and be done with but it. But hey, maybe we shouldn't judge from how it looks. Uh -huh. Maybe it tastes amazing. Yeah. Exactly. Let's cut uh, it up. Apatis. Okay, I'm trying to cut it up. <laughs> Struggling. I am digging in. <laughs> mm. Mine is so good. Yeah. 
Yeah. I feel like mine would be good if it was like, like this, for some reason, mine does not look like the picture. Mine looks like, I think this is operator error. I feel like if we made it in the oven, I feel like that would mm -hmm. be better. How is yours? Um, you know. Maybe you just don't like shepherd's pie. It could be that. So the lasagna slaps. Would you guys like uh -huh. any of it? It's uh, still warm. I'm okay, thank you I'm though. good. You guys sure? You're gonna eat that whole thing, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay. You know what, Gordon Ramsay, I give you a five. Wow, Ooh. okay. I'm gonna give my meal a four. It was okay, but I feel like I probably would've liked the lasagna or something else better. Mm -hmm. I just don't think I'm a fan of shepherd's pie, so it's hard to say. Let's move on to the next one. So this is Chamberlain Coffee, but she has a matcha. Mm. So we're gonna be trying the matcha. Big matcha fan. Big um, matcha fan. I've we never... all like matcha, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here comes our matcha that looks like a candle. <laughs> Obviously, it's mixed very well. Yeah. It's not. Let's see how it smells. Who would we say is the biggest? Ooh, that smells good. good. Oh wow. Mm. We could make a candle out of Who this. Who would we say is the biggest matcha connoisseur? Let's point on three. One, two, three. Yeah. yeah. I'll say Pearson. Okay. I drink too much matcha. I think Pearson's I'm going to be the perfect judge for this. So Pearson, you try this. It smells Give really it your good. <laughs> it's good. Really? Yeah. It's really good. It's a little bitter. This says a half to one teaspoon. Wow, that really that's not that much. Mm. Yeah. You guys should try it. Yeah, it's a little bitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it just needs a yeah. little sweetener. I give it a five. Yeah. I'm a yeah. big matcha fan. It, yeah. Okay, it's it gets five the job for done. Me. Five. Well done. Okay, here we have Dobrik's pizza. Let's see what kind of flavors we have. Oh. It's, ooh. Wow. I think it's honey pepperoni. Okay. And then we have Natalie's favorite. I think it's what it's called. It's ooh. basically pasta. I'm on trying the pizza. that one. Oh, this is meat lovers. Meat lovers. Sure. Look at how thick this baby is. She's thick. Here we go. Cheers, Cheers. ladies. Cheers. The crunch. I love it. Oh yeah. This is like easily a five. I'm giving mine a five. Mine, no mine's a five. I just want to try this one. Honestly. Mine was like sweet but also salty. Mm -hmm. Five. Yeah, five. So this is Nick DiGiovanni's product. Honestly, I don't know what is in here. I'm gonna guess that it's maybe some sort of like salt and pepper. Yeah. I think a seasoning of yeah. some kind. Let's find out. Why are you looking at me like that? Is something gonna pop out? Oh, yeah, someone else opened this. He's backing up. Oh. What the heck? What? Oh, a cheese grater. Oh my god. I'm a little confused. Oh. I'm a little confused. Oh, is it's that salt. a rock? Oh, it's salt. Oh. Is this pink Himalayan salt in Wait, the, the rock form? This is actually sick. This what is, is so this bougie? bougie? It's just a stand, I think. Oh. I think you put the meat on it and then you do this. Yeah. But this is just a whole Oh yeah, whole wow, thing. it's working. Let's get some meat on here. All right. That's, it's gonna fall. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god! We oh, gotta yeah. season this bad boy. Season it, baby! Oh, Let's yeah. eat that wow. salt! Nice. This is so bougie. Yeah! Ooh, yeah! Uh, this is actually sick. Kinda gives me the vibe of like, hey, oh. Parmesan, tell me when to stop. <laughs> Keep, going. Keep, Keep going. going. Keep going. Keep More. going. More. More. Five for good. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Perfect. Oh, it smells really good. It does smell good. Like All right, we're flipping. Oh, yeah. And that, my friends, is our steak. Are we going to eat it? Nope. Who wants to pour salt like that when you can chafe it like you that? You can grate a rock. Five. Five. So we all give this five stars. Let's move on. The next YouTuber product is... Dude. <laughs> Mr. Beast Feastable Cookies. I've actually never wow. tried this before. I got chocolate chip. I got oatmeal raisin. I got peanut butter chocolate chip. <laughs> All right, I'll go first. I'm a huge peanut butter fan, so I'm excited about these. Oh my God, they're like way softer than I thought. These kind of taste like the health, like the almond mom made cookies. You know what I mean? I'm gonna just try the chocolate chip too. I'm oh wait, actually, it. it's all right though. These sure. are these are way better try, than try those, these. What do you guys think about these compared to sorry, sorry, uh, regular cookies? We got Chips Ahoy, classic. Oreos, even more of a classic. Oh, oh, these are bigger. So this is Chips Ahoy, and this is the Feastables. There, this one's a little bit smaller, but Good they look right. They look the same. I'm gonna detail the mm. squishy ones. I'd probably give it two out of five stars, to be honest. You're giving it two stars? Yeah. I Dude, I think it, I think it's pretty good. I like how squishy it is. I'm gonna give it a four out of five. I'm gonna give it a four too. Mr. Beast, respectfully, six chocolate bars. Next, we have another product from Mr. Beast. He partnered up with Nerf and made the Nerf Gelfire X Mr. Beast. All right, I don't know how to do this. I'm gonna go ask my mom for help. One sec. Really? Okay, here oh, we your go. Mom got it? Dude, this actually looks so sick. There's like gel in here. I think that's what you shoot. All right, we got three targets right here. We're gonna see who's the most accurate. You ready? Three, three two, two, one, go! go. Okay, camera started. Come on, gotta get all of them. Get them, get them! Come on! Oh. Mr. Beast wants you to get them! They're exploding one more, everywhere, one more. bro. Don't hit that! 
Okay, stop, stop, stop. 17 seconds. Do you feel like Mr. Beast right now? I do feel like Mr. Beast. All right, he got 17. I'm gonna beat that right now. You ready? All right, three, three two, two, one. one. Yeah. Come on, Ooh, that come on. Be tough. Dude, I can't hit. It's so heavy. Dude, screw this thing. Bro, you are trash. Right. Oh, that's way easier. Oh, come on, no. Bro, this is so hard. hard. Come on. I can't hit it. This Two is more. not good. This is not good. I think I think I lost. Sir, I think I did. 58 lost. seconds. Dude, that's not bad. <laughs> Dude, it so took me an entire minute and I didn't even get them that's all off. That's not bad. All right. There's a setting that changes its rapid fire. They don't know this, but. Three, two, one, go. Wait, what? What? Bro, what? Five seconds. What? No <laughs> way. Bro, you made that look way easier. I was terrible at it. I'm giving it three out of five. I'll give it a four out of five. It was pretty fun to use. Okay. I'm giving it a five out of five. Of course. I thought it was a lot of fun. <laughs> Dude, you're Dude. way too good at this. I'm taking this back. I'm gonna get better. All right, guys, so this right here is a regular basketball. And this is a basketball made from the Bucket Squad, which is like Jesser and the whole team. And uh, apparently it's supposed to be better. So we're gonna try them out and just see if that is actually true. So this is a regular basketball. <laughs> Okay, and this is the bucket squad basketball. Let's see. Yo! Wait, that actually felt good. That is, I think it's in the ball. Is it a I better it's basketball? Ball, it might be. I it's probably like just that. you, actually. I've never shot like that. I don't know. You kind of always shoot like that. Dude, I swear. <laughs> Wait, let me try. Let me see if it's a basketball. Let's see. Wait, what? It's the basketball. <laughs> oh, really? Guys. Wait, does it actually matter like what ball you use? Holy, but, it's a five out of five right here. Unless I make this. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. Five, five out of five. 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 five out of five. All right, now it's time to try Max's beef jerky. Getting so this bad. is like what you would <laughs> usually see at the store. I feel like this is like the most popular brand, Jack Links. But this guy, Max, has a new formula. We're gonna try it. See if this one's good. the chicken jerky. This one is maple. I'm gonna eat the regular one because I honestly like never have this. Mm. No, this is really good. It's very damn good. I'm gonna compare it to like the most popular brand. So this is what most people buy, and this is Max's. It actually looks a lot like juice here. Like it actually looks good, bro. It's like way softer. I like the taste in this one better, but I like the softness in that one better. It's pretty good, but it's definitely different. It's much softer than like the usual beef jerky you'd get. So I'm gonna give it like a three out of five. Honestly, I probably would choose the regular one over these ones. So I'll probably give it like a three out of five too. Three out of five. Okay, three out of five it is. Let's move on. All right, next up we got Carl's gummies. I'm sure you guys know Carl from Mr. Beast's channel. Mr. Beast is on like chocolates and like stuff like that. And I guess Carl's doing candy, which is cool, you know? Yeah, right. Look at these, they have like a Illuminati sign in the front. Yeah, that is weird. <laughs> this gummy tastes like an apple juice. They're actually pretty good. I, I like them, but I actually, I love like gummies, so. I do wish they were a bit more sour though. Three so, of these and I'm good. It's like I probably hard. couldn't eat the whole bag. I'm right gonna here. give it a three out of five. I'm gonna say two out of five. I just, I'm not a fan. One out of five. Dang. Cheers. I like gummies, <laughs> bro, but like, I don't know. The Illuminati side's making me feel weird. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this next product is actually from the Hot Ones. You guys have probably seen it on YouTube, but they have a classic hot sauce, a Los Calientes hot sauce, and an Apollo hot sauce. So it goes from easy to medium to hard, so. Bro, I'm not doing that one, bro. I would probably start crying after doing the easy one, I swear. Okay, so we're gonna get three bowls. We each have to pick our own bowl, but we only have five seconds to pick which one. Oh my God, I better get the easy one, bro. Okay. Five, four, three. Wait, I don't even know if I want Two, this one. Two, one. Oh, oh my God. God. Okay, so we each have our bowls now. We have one chip. This Go is actually it. scary because you can't <laughs> tell which one's hot. Dude, it all looks the same, bro. I actually have no idea. I say we soak all of our chips. I think this is good like this. No, no, no. Oh, that is way too this much. Is good. No, you have to actually put a decent Bro, I don't amount. think Brian understands what's going on here. Bro, if you have the spicy one, you're actually screwed. <laughs> I got you. That's good, that's good, that's good. Oh my. <laughs> all right, bud. Everyone try it. Three, <laughs> two. Yeah. Bro, right, you go. barely got any. All on the tongue, all on the tongue. Oh my god. Oh, mine's pretty spicy. Mine's pretty spicy too, but. I'm gonna have two and I'm like overreacting. Yeah, I definitely got the worst one. Wait, I think mine's good. <laughs> I'm so sorry. So red is classic, yellow is hot one, and then. Oh my. Blue is medium. Wait, so you got the worst one. <laughs> Bro, you're lucky because you like. <laughs> Bro, it's kind of spicy too. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad I got the worst one. <laughs> Can I try this? I am. Bro, what is that? <laughs> that is, bro, you're not even gonna taste it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, medium pretty good. <laughs> Dude, shut up. <laughs> so Brian got easy, I got medium, and obviously Andrew got the <laughs> spiciest one. Dude, mine, mine's like pretty spicy, but I think I can eat it. I'm not even gonna try that one, that's insane. I'd say, I, I'm honestly gonna rate this five out of five. It's very spicy, but it's also pretty good. What do you guys think? Honestly, five out of five too. 
Like, flavors are amazing. Spiciness, if you kind of keep it under this one, not bad. <laughs> What are you? It's actually not bad. What? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to smash the like button and also subscribe, and we will see you guys next week. Peace out, guys. One, one, one. Yeah. Woo!